Hey guys, welcome to another video. This one is going to be on the NVIDIA GTX 780. Yep, this is a oldie but goodie. This card is over 10 years old. Um, however, it is still one of my favorite cards. Um, not in terms of performance, obviously it has, you know, it has uh, grown old for modern games, but uh, I still love its uh, appearance, its aesthetic. Um, it does not have a backplate. Shame on you, NVIDIA. But still, I love the card. Um, yeah, it is a blower style, but you know what? It does pretty good as far as temperatures. I can't complain. Now, the only drawback with this little card is that it does have a small frame buffer of three gigabytes, but that is running on a 384-bit bus. So maybe that'll help it uh, with some games, you know, in these modern days. For you guys, um, if you're looking for a decent GPU, maybe on eBay, you know, something used just to keep, just to hold you until you can afford to get something better. Um, I'm bringing this video to you guys in case you run into a GTX 780 and you're wondering if it'll be worth your hard earned money, even if it's at a price that you think it is affordable. All right, guys, now the card is plugged into the system here. Just my little tester rig. Uh, basically, what we're going to do, what we're going to aim to do is uh, see which games load at all, if you can actually use the card. So, yeah, let's get to it. All right, fellas, um, and just to give you a uh, kind of like a heads up, when I was trying to load Assassin's Creed Valhalla, I get this error. and then you get greeted with this here. So that's the GTX 780 for you. If you try to launch God of War, same thing. Um, and if you try to launch Far Cry 6, it just won't load. It'll just, the game will just close by itself. They won't even try to <laughs> to come to a loading screen or anything like that. Um, so some games will not, just period, it just will not work because the card is, like I said, over 10 years old and it just doesn't support, you know, DirectX 12 API or certain uh, features that game developers are starting to use today. All right, guys, so let's... Let's uh, check for the graphics that we're going to be using in this little test real quick. We'll just breeze through these here. Um, MSAA by 2, 1080p, VSync off, settings high, um, and advanced graphics off. So let's load into story mode now. Okay, so let's go for a little drive here. But first, let's reset our benchmarking um, metric here. Okay, so, so far so good, 86, averaging 86, although we just came out of the, the house. Let's just go for a little drive. And driving, it's, um, um, it's a good way to test uh, in GTA, your graphics. If you're running a benchmark, because this uh, adds a little more adds a little more load to your GPU and CPU. This card was released in the same year that this game was released on in on consoles. So they're from the same era, um, and the GTX 780s doing well. I mean, this is very playable, and here in the city too. So yeah. You know, totally. If GTA is your game, um, this card will not disappoint you. It will, yeah, it will hold you uh, until you get something better. Like I said in the beginning of the video, um, totally. This it, it it does not look like trash. The graphics look, yeah. I mean, of course, you know, it does have its limitations. Like it's already hitting the uh, 
the frame buffer is if you see there up at the uh, left top corner it's at 29.25 so yeah but you don't see any dips in the uh, minimum frames per second there so that's very good uh, yeah so I think we'll call it 89 FPS for GTA 5 all right guys so here we are crisis 3 1080p texture resolution very high system spec very high and uh, our advanced graphics very high so all right let's give this a shot see how this how this goes All right, guys. Let's see what we got here. And uh, yeah. oh my God. Okay. My yeah. Three to come this does Keep not up. look very promising. Move. Okay. Okay. You know what? How about we lower the? Uh, the graphic settings this is a must because it's just this is just not gonna go very well um let's go to medium maybe okay that did it oh man that's much better all right yeah this is doable it's a war starting the alpha no remember those guys who shot you through cake box in siberia the guys who had you in lockdown for God knows how many years. The guys who tore the nano suit from my flesh. The guys who are gonna do the same to you. Sell. Okay, so medium settings at um, 1080p, two times MSAA. And we're averaging at 78 FPS. skip that let's go all right I think we'll leave it here um, yeah this is good all right guys so as you can see I have to drop the uh, graphic settings to the lowest because doom even at 1080p loves VRAM so yeah it's already hitting that limit there so but let's see how the game plays even you know at those uh, at those settings, yeah. All right, guys. So here we go. Um, yeah, the graphics do not look the best, but um, okay, we're still gonna roll with it anyway. I will mark it on your HUD. I um, mean, you can see my frame times are taking a. Yeah, they're jumping. Um, a bit here, but um, okay, we're sustaining 54 FPS average. Card here is struggling. You can see those. My FPS has dropped to the 30s there. Oh man. <laughs> Eat that. Oh. 
Yeah. Alright. Uh, uh, get some. Get some. Alright. Okay, well, I think we'll leave it here. 48 FPS average. Um, and yeah, you can see it there on the screen for yourself, so nothing else to be said. Alright, so Battlefield 5. We're gonna stick to 1080p. Um, let's go to our advanced graphics. DX12 off because this card does not so does not run on DX12 for whatever reason. It's because of the age of the card. Um, we're gonna leave this on auto just to see how that goes, and if we need to turn it down, then we'll do that. Um, and I think everything looks good here. Okay, let's see. Let's turn the volume down. Okay. Set. Getting a lot of dips here. Um, obviously, you can see that we're reaching the limit of our frame, our frame buffer there. And 42 frames per second seems to be the average here, at least in this map. So far so good. So we're at 57 frames per second. We are hitting that frame buffer so you do see those dips there in the uh, frame time. but. It doesn't seem to be affecting the performance, like the uh, the game, you know what I mean? Like, it's still enjoyable. Holy cow. Okay, yeah, I think we'll leave it there. 50 frames per second. Okay, so now we'll try Horizon Zero Dawn, 1080p. Uh, Vsync off, graphic settings to original. And uh, we'll lower the audio here a little bit so I can speak. <laughs> okay, yeah. All right, so let's continue. Okay, um, that didn't really do much for us. Oh my gosh, okay. I mean, yeah, you, you can still play the game if it's 30 frames per second that you're happy with, uh, console-like refresh rate. Um, Yeah, you can kind of see that oh, it's, it's also hating, hating that uh, frame buffer already, so. Yeah. We'll just go for a run here. Um, this game does like system memory, so. That's another thing you got to keep in mind. So I mean, don't get me wrong, the game, it is playable, the console like um, FPS. I mean, I don't see any like, okay, except for that one, that was a big stutter there, but 
that's due to the frame buffer um, so we are at the lowest settings uh, 1080p anti-aliasing off and that's another that's another hiccup that's another dip and another one and that's all related to the frame buffer okay so I think um, you guys get the point 33 FPS average on Horizon Zero Dawn I think we'll leave it here okay so Red Dead Redemption let's go ahead and um, bump up the resolution here to 1080p there we go okay let's just go with low 1080p low settings come on let's go Ain't sure what all right well that's a little hands. better but not we by much stay close and we'll do our best to stick to the trail this goddamn weather been two days or more like this now oh it has to blow over soon Yeah, the GTX 780 here is struggling. And as you can see, this game loves system memory too, so um, but we got we got more than plenty. Uh, but that frame buffer is definitely filled Careful up. Careful over this bridge here. Yeah, this is not a game that, um, if you're expecting decent FPS on this game with this little graphics card, you'd be very disappointed, but um, it is playable, it's not, you're not getting those horrible uh, frame time dips, so if you don't mind playing it at console-like frames per second, uh, it's totally doable, the game is playable, so... gentlemen. Found anything? Yeah, I think that's so. uh, Found a little Red Dead Redemption for way. you. Okay. I think we'll leave it here. Um, for for the games that I showed you, uh, especially GTA, this card will do just fine if that's a game that you're always playing. Um, I believe that I don't have Fortnite, but I believe that Fortnite has a, a Direct 11 Direct 11 feature or API option. So. I think I'm not sure. I think that this card will work just fine with Fortnite. Um, you know what? And I, I should I should get the game because just it you know yeah. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know there are some games that do not play on this card. But other than that, um, well, you saw the video. It does it does okay, um, especially if you lower the graphics settings. Um, you know, it, it could hold you until you get something better. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave the video here. I'm gonna, not gonna mumble along anymore uh, i hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video uh, if you did please hit thumbs up if you did it you know what to do i'll see you guys in the next time on the next video uh, take care bye bye